You're about to hear a video clip from one of the worst false prophets slash cult leaders on social media today. Julie Green is about to demonstrate to you how to disarm Christians so that they can put their Bible up on the shelf and do nothing but follow her through manipulation, instruction, commands, and fear of death. She's going to show you how she and other false prophets are so successful in keeping their base. You've been warned, this is absolutely horrendous. When I spoke to my people in the land of Goshen, with the lamp's blood on the door, all were saved because they obeyed without question. Without questioning my word. My two are the same thing can happen now. But put your guard down that you have been holding up. Do not believe my prophets in fear of great disappointment. Stop this and stop it now, for if you believe my prophets, you shall prosper. <clears throat> I brought them to you in this day, so you could receive my words for these days. You are in to keep you encouraged, but to help you stand in the midst of such great darkness. All my prophets for you have endured struggles and hard times to deliver these words. So pray for those who are standing for you or for me. Pray for them. All, they are generals and they are in the front line, on the front line of this battle. I brought them to you. So stand with them now. Do you hear the blowing of the shofar? Now, I've taken the liberty to put a list together of everything that woman just said in her short video clip. Let's take a look. Uh, Julie Green's manipulating tactics. Number one, obey without question. She literally says this. But then she uh, uses a tactic that's been very successful for many cult leaders, and that is to associate. Describe a situation where other followers of God were obedient and it worked out well for them. She's talking about the Israelites of Goshen. And then associated with you know, current situation. I'm the prophet now. Back then they did this, but listen to me now and obey without question. And uh, she's going to lead you through the darkness uh, with the power of God. So uh, many people who were um, questioning her, uh, she's trying to disarm them. Number two, she says, uh, put your guards down. She literally says this. Never mind what the Bible says about guarding your faith in many verses. She looks at you with a stern look and tells you to put your guard down. You know, the guard that you've been holding up. Uh, some of you who weren't believing the prophets, put your guards down that you've been holding up. Now, again, what more can you say about this? This is right out of cult teaching 101 number three she barks a command at you stop it right now because even maybe after you heard her say this well i don't know people were thinking and she says hey stop it right now here's that parental leader mommy figure stop it right now as though you were a five-year-old child sadly this works number four uh, she remember remember she even in that clip she's allegedly prophesying from God as though this was God speaking. She says, "If you believe the prophets, her being one of them, you will prosper." So now here is a a reward situation, right? Maybe some of you who have had uh, health problems, financial problems. Well, it's because you've not been believing the prophets. But here she makes you a. Uh, a statement that says, hey, if you believe us, you're going to prosper. It's unbelievable. Number five, conveniently, she says that God brought her to you for this day. And, of course, this is self-promotion and self-exaltation. Uh, this is horrible. She's testifying. I've seen this so many times with so many channels where the actual host who is the product. Julie is the product, and she's <laughs> she's doing a commercial for herself here. But she's bringing it to you as though God said this. 
this is bananas. Number six, it's the prophet's words which will help you stand in these days of darkness, as though the Bible isn't enough. Now, we're in different special days of darkness, and uh, that, that pesky old Bible is not going to be enough to help you stand. So God had to send new prophets, uh, her being one of them. And by the way, it's going to help you stand in these days. Without her, uh, she alleges almost roundabout that you don't have any way that you can stand. Number seven, these poor prophets have endured struggles and hard times in order to bring you these new words from God. She says this. Now, this is utterly ridiculous. Um, again, testifying as though she's being persecuted. And, and I have to tell you, you know, getting kicked off YouTube like Julie did, uh, that's not persecution. Uh, you get kicked off when you start making death threats against actual government officials, pretty much all of them, by the way. Um, but to insinuate that she's endured struggles and hard times in order, specifically in order to bring you these words. You know, she had to break through armies with swords. She was hunted and was hiding and underground. That's, that's what she's alluding to, but by no means has any of this even come close to happening. Uh, try to think of the Old Testament prophets where they were hunted, they were tortured, sawed in half, um, this is nowhere near that, but she wants you to think that she's struggling and she's having a hard time, specifically in order to bring these. And, and again, what is it? What is the struggle that she endured? Well, was, my eyes hurt from looking at the computer and I'm suffering or, you know, I had to edit this video 16 times because, you know, this and that, and it was really hard and, and my chair is lumpy. Oh, the hard times, the struggles, just to bring my people these valuable words. It's, it's crazy. Now, that's not also to take away. If, if Julie has endured hard times and struggles in her personal life, well, that's different. And, and we pray for her. But in order to bring you the word, no. And uh, by no means is she being persecuted. Okay, so let's just get that straight. Number eight, she repeats her lie that God brought her to you as though she is a gift of God himself. So she says this twice. And again, it's atrocious. She's, she's uh, promoting herself, testifying of herself. It's crazy. Number nine, she claims she's a general on the front lines. This is absurd. This woman is so absurd. A general on the front lines. By the way, she has no idea how, I, I would call this part blasphemous, because if you pay attention in the rest of the world, Christian persecution is at an all-time high. Right now in North Korea, in China, in the Middle East, in Nigeria, and many other places, Christians are being hunted. They're being slaughtered, hacked to death with machetes. Uh, women and children raped, uh, enslaved, the worst imaginable torture for their faith. Now, this little princess over here in America, as far as I know, she's not been hunted or tortured or any of the things that I've named. And then to put herself in a position of general talk about humility or lack of, this woman is completely completely disconnected from reality. But I truly have no doubt that she really believes that she's a general. While she leads the rich Americans to get Trump back in office and kill all the Democrats. That's what she's a general of, lying. Unbelievable. Please think about this. And then, of course, she wraps this clip up with saying, blow the shofar, because we all always want to bring an image of old school, Old Testament shofars, the victory, the victory, the victory. Now, by all means, go back and watch the video clip, and you will clearly see that I've embellished nothing. She said all of this in about a minute and a half, two minutes. All were saved because they obeyed without question.